In the wake of rapidly advancing space exploration efforts, the first two weeks of September marked a critical juncture, especially between September 8th and 13th, the highly anticipated launch window of SpaceX's Starship. This period was not just significant due to the potential launch, but also because of a looming showdown between SpaceX and the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The roots of this showdown trace back to the FAA's September 8th release, shedding light on their investigation into Starship's first orbital flight test on April 20th. These revelations have undoubtedly cast a shadow on SpaceX's audacious plans. Following their investigation, the FAA determined that for SpaceX to secure new flight permits for Starship, they would have to address 63 corrective actions. This extensive list has cast doubts over SpaceX's timeline, especially given that their second Starship is already prepped and waiting on the launch pad. With the permits yet to be granted, space enthusiasts and experts alike are skeptical about a launch happening this month. However, in a surprising twist, Musk took to X.com on September 10th to share an update. Out of the 63 corrective actions, 57 had already been resolved by the SpaceX team. This is a commendable feat, achieved in just a little over four months. Musk's post celebrated this achievement while assuring that with a team as dedicated and competent as SpaceX's, Mars is undoubtedly within reach. The unfolding situation between SpaceX and the FAA feels familiar for many space enthusiasts. This isn't the first time SpaceX has faced hurdles with the FAA over its launch permissions. During the initial launches, the FAA continuously delayed SpaceX's plans, asking for unexpected measures. This led to growing frustration among the public, causing many to question the true motives behind the FAA's repeated obstacles. For most, Getting the FAA's launch license became even more exciting than Starship's latest tech upgrades. The reason? Without the FAA's approval, even the most advanced Starship would remain on the ground. The recent 63 corrective actions spread over various areas highlighted some significant concerns from the April 20th launch of Starship. One key area was the Starship's booster. This part, essential for the rocket's power, had issues with its fire safety mechanisms. The April launch showed that the current system wasn't up to the task, so the FAA suggested a stronger fire suppression system. Then there's the Raptor engines, the main power source of the Starship. These engines, while impressive, also needed some tweaks to ensure they work safely and efficiently during both launch and re-entry. The Super Heavy, which helps lift the Starship, was under scrutiny too. There were suggestions to improve how strong and safe it is, especially during the intense pressures of a launch. But perhaps the most visible changes were at the launch pad and the tank farm. During the April launch, the force of the liftoff was so strong it kicked up large pieces of concrete from the pad. Some of these pieces flew farther than expected, even reaching places where people lived. This was a big safety concern. To fix this, SpaceX was advised to include a better fire system, called C2, which would have a much larger capacity than before. Additionally, to prevent damage like the flying concrete, a new system was introduced at the launch pad. This water system would flood the launch area during takeoff, reducing the impact and preventing debris from flying off. The FAA's report also emphasized refining safety procedures and enhancing component designs. They stressed the importance of using additional prototypes for rigorous testing. At present, SpaceX has managed to address 57 of these actions. The remaining six, which pertain to components that can't be replaced on the existing prototype, will be incorporated from the third launch onwards. On April 20th, SpaceX's Starship took to the skies for what was meant to be an impressive flight. The journey lasted about four minutes, with Starship reaching an impressive height of 39 kilometers. However, things took a turn for the worse leading to a dramatic explosion in the sky. The reason for this unfortunate incident was the activation of a safety feature called the Autonomous Flight Safety System. This system has a straightforward purpose, to ensure the rocket is destroyed if it ever poses a risk to people or buildings on the ground. It's like an emergency switch equipped with explosives, which can be activated when things don't go as planned. The need to activate this system came from a problem that arose during the flight. There were fires in the engine area of the Starship. The origin of these fires hasn't been fully detailed by SpaceX, but they seem to have been caused by fuel leaks. 
These aren't small, easily manageable fires, but rather large ones that caused significant issues for the spacecraft. The fires damaged several vital electrical parts of the rocket. These parts are responsible for communicating with the main computer systems on board. Imagine trying to use a computer with no internet connection or power. That's similar to what happened to Starship on that day. With the rocket unable to communicate properly and ascending without control, the safety system recognized the danger and made the difficult decision to self-destruct the Starship. The engine of the Starship, while groundbreaking in many aspects, has faced its share of hurdles during various tests. Starship is powered by the Raptor engine, which is a major step up from the engine used in the company's earlier Falcon 9 rocket. The older Falcon 9 used a Merlin engine, which had a different way of operating. Think of it like a regular car engine. But the Raptor, on the other hand, is more like a high-performance sports car engine. It uses a new way of mixing and burning fuel that gives it a lot more power. The big difference is how it uses all the gases it produces, sending them back into the engine to get even more power. But with great power comes great responsibility, and that's where the challenges pop up. The Raptor engine can sometimes have leaks. Leaks in rocket engines are a big deal, especially when you have a lot of engines working together. After the test flight in April, Musk talked about some issues with the Raptor engines. The older engines on the Falcon rockets were a bit simpler and easier to manage. But as SpaceX wanted to build rockets that could be used again and again, they had to make some changes. One of those changes was how the engine stayed cool. They started using really cold fuel to help with this, and with the Raptor they took it a step further. Another cool thing about the Raptor is that it uses methane as fuel. Imagine choosing between two types of car fuels, where one makes the engine dirty and the other keeps it clean. Methane is the cleaner option compared to the fuel used in the older engines. It doesn't leave behind any messy residues. But back to the challenges. Musk has a list of things to fix or check off, and most of them are about the engine or parts connected to it. They're looking at things like the parts that start the engine, the valves that control the flow of fuel, and other important engine parts. SpaceX's focus now is obtaining the FAA's launch license. The FAA mandates that all requisite corrective measures, especially those impacting public safety, be implemented. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.